Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Webby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome back for the fourth time Off the Grid Ryan Part 4, a.k.a. Ryan Davis. Four times. Four times. Dude, Dude do you believe it? I can't believe me and Eric Griffin, man. We're neck and neck, right? Oh, you're going to be on here more than him, I think. Ooh. I love Eric, but yeah. Because I love, we, we talk about some stuff, mostly mm -hmm. video game. Oh, yeah. We don't, I do notes for you. We, for do you. we do conspiracy notes. Let's get it. Um, how you been? Like, give me an update. I haven't seen you since the last time. Didn't you I'm take? I'm 40. I'm 40 yeah, years happy old. Happy birthday, brother. Uh, happy Greg birthday. Greg Carlwood from the Higher Side Chats have been asking about you, man. He calls me all well, the time. What's his name? Can I give him a shout out? Greg Carlwood from the Higher Side Chats. Shout out to Mr. Carlwood. You're always welcome on the Stevie Weeby Show. We love we love new uh, voices. I think he's a little nervous going solo, so he wants to come on with me as like a Why, as a Why is he scared? I don't know. I don't no, know. No, he shouldn't be scared. It's kind of like you, you know? You get to be you in your own setting, and so now he's stepping outside. But Greg, as next time. Is, has Greg seen any of the podcasts? Oh, yeah. He's a big fan, dude. Big fan. Really? He loves it? Yeah, dude. Um, Happy 40th. Hold on. Um, Thank you very much. What do you got? I knew you got. Presents, you always, brother. You always Presents, something. brother. You always do. Thank you. So you didn't I, have to do that. Last week, I celebrated my 40th birthday. What do you got here? And I went on a little trip up north to the Redwoods. Damn right. I was going to bring that up. And you, all those things are in there for you. So go ahead. I love that you got the sage going. Ooh. A we little, got some Palo Santo. What is this? Is a this little deodorant? Sun, yeah, you know how I always this put you on. Is Palo Santo deodorant? Remember that lavender tip I put oh, you on? Oh, this is next level. There's multiples, dude. Oh. I know you like soap and to smell good. Oh, wow. Because I like this for real. Oh, you know about I the Palo. I could smell this under my armpits now. Look at the other one. Set this is all I needed. Even, even if you just gave me this, I would have been, dude, I'm good. Bro, check it out. There's a couple other ones oh, I think. Wow. You, it's this, is like a, this is like a special um, episode of Stevie's P.O. Box, but on the real show. Hell yeah. Which Humboldt uh, All Natural Deodorant Forbidden Tonka Bean. I don't know what Tonka Bean is, but it's well, forbidden. You know damn well it's on next level shit. It probably smells like sexy. Mm, I hippie. could dig it. What is it? Mm hmm. A little lavender. Mm. A little lavender like. Yeah. Mm hmm. Earthy. Thank you for that. See, dude, well, you didn't have to. Dude, how many you got in here? Dude, I went to Eureka Can Natural I give you Foods. One? Oh, dude, you, there's a little bit of. I'm going to give you a Tonka Bean. A one. What you want? What you want? You want Texas uh, cedar wood? Grapefruit, this is next level. You ever smelled these before? Oh, God. That one's great. They're, you know what I like? I you know why wait. I like it? Because they're faint. Oh, yeah. And it's all natural. Dude, once you hop out of the shower, you put this under your armpit, you're going to get a girlfriend. Well, wait. There's more. There's more. What else you got in there? Humboldt Scrub. Fern Valley Goat Milk Soap. Woo! Oh, that's next level. That's like that's like cologne. See? Oh. It was hard to give that away. I almost won. I almost yeah, won. Yeah, this that one. one, that one. I could tell. Every time you rub your hands, you're gonna think. And of you that. look forward to a shower, don't you? You're like, damn, I can't wait to get my shampoo done so I could put this under my armpits. Exactly, dude. Hey, Ren, you want to smell this? Here, no, hold on. Stay right there. No, stay at the camera. I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Check it out. You got more here too. Man. You didn't have to do. You went above and beyond already. So I'm trying to get you, you know, I'm oh, trying to get man. you to come out with me okay. on one of these adventures. Well, you know, I need to get out of here. Ooh, what is this? What the hell? Some socks to get out there, Big buddy. Bigfoot 
active collection. You know I love socks. And wrapped God up bless inside it. here is real Palo Santo, brother. God dang, dude. I feel like it's my birthday. It is my, you know, it's my sobriety birthday. So this, dude. Dozen? Your timing is impeccable. 12 years sober. Well, I think Boom. this last one's going to prove it, man. Boom, Palo Santo. Here we go. What's this, dude? You got it. You, you're going in, huh? I hope you oh, wear a medium, bro. Oh, that is me. It's a Bigfoot shirt. So I go up to Pacific Northwest a lot, an area it's called like Oric. Go ahead. Go ahead. And it's got it. the most amount of sightings of Bigfoot, right? So I go camping there solo in hopes to maybe see something or to hear something. You know what? Feel I something. wouldn't be mad if I died like that. I'll, if I if Bigfoot killed me, I would be dude. That's a story. Especially if he makes sweet love to you, because like, what if that's what well, Bigfoot what do you is? Mean what if he's just a lover and no one ever tells what if about he rapes him? my butt? No, no, raping like he makes sweet, sweet Bigfoot love to you. Yeah, so, it would be rape then, because like, it's a it's a big creature. <laughs> It'd be rape. Wouldn't it? It, well, if I comply, so you're saying I would have to comply with Bigfoot? I think all love making in nature is rape. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to. Call it, it is what it is. SKS There's no way to fight it off. No. Never. <laughs> never. How big is Bigfoot? Just give me a Seven estimate. to nine feet estimated. Seven to nine feet. Yeah. How many pounds do you think? Uh, 400 pounds. Four or 500 pounds. 350. 400. Yeah. What you, what you pushing right now? I'm a li- I'm like a little bit, like a buck 30, buck 35. That's not bad. He would bad. hold me down with a finger. This is why we need And to I would be like, uh, oh, please. And then, <laughs> and then. I'd be like, ah, like my butt would be pain, in Doesn't pain. Doesn't end there. Okay. Right here, oh, thank you, brother. I love this I shirt. I like that when we started this off, you like burned some uh, yeah. sage. Oh, okay. Well, we got, got it. Uh, white sage here. California white mood, sage. Man. Oh, my God, dude. Thank you so much. Love what, you, Steve. What beautiful Miss you, gifts. I love you, too. So what do I got to so do to get well, you out there, well, man? I, I'm, I'm free right now. I'm like, uh, all I'm doing is... Uh, I'm doing my content. I'm actually working on new music as well. Nice. Um, a Stir Crazy. You know the movie Stir Crazy with Gene Wilder and uh, oh, yeah. uh, Richard Pryor? Exactly. Yeah, it's it's a concept album, but I'm trying to pull kind of um, themes and, uh, and ideas out of these samples. Oh, look at this. And it's coming from Stir Crazy. Oh, look at that. This is the final one. You okay. See, oh, like, I didn't even know. We have matching ones, brother. So I know that uh, okay. me and you both have a little bit of an obsession with the reptilian. Yes, I do. More or less yes, the I metaphorical, because inside of each of us is yeah. a reptilian. You oh, know? yeah. So uh, we're the brothers of the reptilian okay, screaming cool, abyss. Okay, dude. We are then. I'm going to put this That's on. That's a handmade bead this by some handmade. hippie up north. Well, this is this like a reptilian uh, charm that will kind of yeah, or will is, will this attract reptilians to my my it, apartment? It might make you just like uh they might pass by you as like the blood over the doorway back in the day. They're already underneath, aren't they? The underground. Chances are, man. Yeah. So tell me about your uh, trip to <laughs> tell me about your trip to the uh, redwood forest, man. Like I saw the Insta video and you're like, Steve, you're missing out. You could be here. It looked beautiful, by the way. The have you ever been to the redwoods? Mm, I've been. Is Yosemite different? And no, it's not. That's not the redwoods yet. So the redwoods. Okay, I've been are, to Yosemite, so okay. I have not. We gotta go, man. It's it's like from here, it's about six hundred and sixty miles to my little location. I'm not gonna say to these kooks because let's keep the West wild. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, you went by yourself? Yeah, I go up there. There's a spot on BLM land, which is Bureau of Land Management, and mm-hmm. there's multiple BLMs right now. But mm-hmm. the OG. Uh, it's eight dollars a night. You can't beat that, dude. Is that? Do you get your own camping spot? Yeah, your own camping spot. Your own. Uh, you got your own fire pit. You got your own table. And then there's actually fl- there's not flushable, but there's latrine style. So you get to do that awesome dump where it takes yeah, like a minute yeah. before it hits. And... Yeah. Did you bring uh, baby wipes for your ass? Oh yeah, I get the witch hazel ones too. That's a little it trick I learned from out, uh, huh? Giannis Papas. Yeah. It's a Greek little uh, tradition is to use witch hazel on your anus. I love any kind of baby wipe as long as it gets it gets it all out. Dude, uh, your bathroom, that green light in there, uh, that's fucked up, man. I was, oh, like, <laughs> I, I was <laughs> like new. instantly, like yeah, I was instantly disoriented. I turned it on and I was just like, it's the like, Green oh. Lantern style. Yeah, you don't like dude, it? Yeah, I see that. I was... shower with that thing on. It puts me in the. <laughs> it puts, puts, You're in the plasma the zone. Yeah, yeah, it puts dude. me into my own little matrix. You're a maniac. Oh, um, sleeping bag. Uh, 
Did ready? you have you brought a sleeping bag too? You got a Coleman like that too? I do the tent. You I do it all yeah. solo. What kind of tent? Two man, four man, it's one man. It's a three man, so that I get mm-hmm. a little bit of space, and so I can kind of like half stand up when I'm putting on my pants in the morning. Yeah. But uh, I've camped at this place a lot now, like about half a dozen times over the past three years. Yeah. So yeah. I I uh, I trust where it's at, but the only weird part is, is just in the middle of the night, you realize you're surrounded by other like random people. You're like, oh, I yeah. know what I'm up to out here, but what is that oh, kooky yeah. guy over there doing? And you, you might know? hear some howling. Oh, yeah. So what do you do? You, I mean, by yourself, like, that's kind of courageous. I'm an Eagle Scout. So like, yeah, my, but at night it's pitch black, man. Wilderness Survival was my favorite merit badge. Uh, yeah. You, got, was, you brought a knife? We did. I got Wilderness Survival when I was like 13 or 14. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And this yeah. was out at Catalina Island. All right. I haven't like, been there. I haven't been there. Dude, I got family out there as well. Catalina brother. Island. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. You want to go scuba diving? Catali- Catalina Mixer. Dude. <laughs> A whale's vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that movie. <laughs> but yeah, dude, we should. Uh, I yeah, want down, to get you out. I do. I, I'm a hermit. You know that. I know you are. I'm I, a hermit. I literally almost thought about just leaving Obi Bear hot wings on your like doorstep the other day oh, and ringing man. it and running away. Oh, so you sometimes you'll pass by. Like I wonder if Steve's sleeping. Yeah. Well, I, it was awesome. Is that I got a message from you at two in the morning, which I imagine is your like eight a.m. You're Wait, say that again. The other day, like you're like two in the morning, I get a message from you and it's, it's hey, Ryan, would you do my podcast? And I was like, dude, what are you doing up at two in the morning? Oh, no, that's scheduling. Like mor- yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You're I'm a vampire. A- <laughs> I love it. I dude. am. I am. Well, dude, I, uh, I can't. I don't I, I don't like that about myself. And it, it's getting worse now because it's getting towards winter, too. I do the hibernation thing, even though it's not we don't see the elements or snow. I some I just naturally vi- like. I like sh- like want to curl want up like a like a like a snail and just. Is that how you sleep in the fetal? Uh yeah, I usually it's weird because I used to um have to have a pillow in between my legs. Yeah, me I, too. Yeah, I remember on a ski trip, uh, my friend Anthony, we're you know we're all sharing the bed, and I remember he he. He was freaking out because I didn't realize that I was doing this, but I straddled his his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> he got freaked out. Hey man, but Just it's keeping him warm, I, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was it was because I was used to um, having, you know, it's comfort. Yeah, keep your digits because uh, you're probably a skinny guy. Your fingers yeah, yeah, get yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty skinny. Yeah, I'm pretty skinny. Yeah, I either yeah. sleep like like put your hands like that, or yeah. you do the little superstar style. But I get scared. Uh, you know how it's kind of like when you're a kid, like the monster in the closet type vibe. I still get scared if I curl and my back is towards the bathroom. There's something about that corner where. So you have to face. Yeah, so I it? have to face. That seems creepier to face towards it. Well, I'd rather see what's coming. If, if there's like a shadow per something or there, I would like. I still have that in uh, swimming pools at night. If there's no light on, I yeah. feel like there's like a b- creature from the Black Lagoon down there about to like tickle my scrotum. Yeah, because so there I, is there is weird energy. I've had to sage this place out a few times because uh, my girl experienced some kind of paranormal stuff in here. Like we were cleaning that corner out, and you know, like that stand I used to use for the little Rays World Show, yeah. you, where you put the poster board on. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's a like kind of like a fold out. Like there's hinges, and you have to fold it out. You know. Yeah. It was like literally disassembled, right? And then I kid you not, like. I had a bookshelf. This is how long ago I had a uh, Collins bookshelf. We were cleaning it out and everything. I had books stacked in the corner and I like turned away from it. And then like I was doing something in this corner, like wiping shit down and I turned back and that stand was standing straight up. Like, and I'm like, what? And I was, we almost got in a fight. Cause I'm like, did you, did you, Put that up there. She goes, no, babe. No, honey, I didn't. And I'm like, please tell me. You know, I was freaking <laughs> out. I was freaking out. And not only that, so that happened. That freaked the... It was like Blair Witch fucking, you know, stand. And then she's seen... Because she's really uh, sensitive to stuff like that. She's seen like... Like a gar... Like red eye... Like some weird crap in here. So what have you done to to you just well, it? Well, I sage it all. The, I mean, he got me sage. I got Paulo. I mean, I got a grip of Paulo Santo. I mean, there's, I don't know what else to do because I'm not very religious, right? You know, I'm not a religious dude. Yeah. All right. Um, but you know, I've also had. I don't think I've actually said this, but I've had um, 
you know, because I'm not watching porn anymore. And I, you know, because I used to look up the grannies, the grandma stuff, and I, and I was internalizing that. Like, why, hmm. why would I even have an interest in that? That's like kind of gross, you know. But I realized that there has been this granny, grandma, witch figure in my dreams and shit. Like, where she's holding me down and like raping, me, like, <laughs> you know. Like, like, just on some cryptic shit, you know what I mean? Damn. And I've told, like, my girl, you know, and she's like, yeah, like, I think I've seen, like, I know what hmm. spirit that is, you know? And so I, I, I've never shared that, but there has been, I've had dreams where I'm running away from this hag, you know, and it's scary. She's scared. She's a witch, and she's old. She's a granny. She's a granny witch. And it's the most frightening kind of, it's like, I'd rather be, chased down by like a demon than that so let's let's unpack that because it's metaphorical uh, everything there's so many more layers okay yeah. it's an old woman it's an old hag and uh, so there was this one artist forget his name he believed there's only three stages of women it's the virgin uh the mother and the old hag it was the old hag dude and it was so the old hag old hag what does that represent to you <sighs> chances are Inside of your sack right now are sperms that are never going to make children. And so what you're getting is signals sending to you is your biological clock is ticking. And you have in your mind. Oh, I'm the old hag. That you are. you. Yeah, it's always I'm you. aging like I'm aging like the old hag. It's it, look, it's the mirror mind. It, it literally like. Whoa. I, I started, did you write that? How'd you come up? Did you that, write that down? It, it's it's in here in a sense because like I I work with these two. Korean dudes. I call one NK for North Korea, yeah. one SK for South Korea. Okay, okay. All right, one is more farmer like, more down to the earth, easily manipulated. The other one is like bougie, fucking flossing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm working with these guys. We had downtime. I do music videos with them, mm -hmm. and we had downtime. And uh, the guy, Dave, he's uh, the South Korean, and he has inside of him Han. Have you ever heard Han? Well, I in just Korean. I just sense. know that as a last name. It's a last Han name. Or on so Kim in, Yim. It's a last Lee. name, but it, it's a in Korean. It is. There has no word for it in English, or really in any other language, but mm -hmm. Korean. But Han is the never-ending, burning anger inside of you. Oh damn! You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. So that like, I understand that because I have like burning lava anger inside of me, like constantly. I, right. Me too. And you know what I realized. Sometimes that anger will hit me when I'm out in public. Like, I'll feel okay in here, you know, but I'll be like at Starbucks or, you know, in and out Burger. And then I don't know where these thoughts are coming, but they're really malicious and like real, like just evil. Yeah. Like Elliot Roger, like type, like I want to like, I, I feel rageful right now. Yeah. I mean... If I feel but like it, it comes I, out of nowhere, I could, you know, I'm, I have I'm my skateboard. That, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for like a che my cheeseburger, and I'm like, well, where did that thought come from? I why am I thinking that? I always wonder: are the thoughts coming from outside, or are they coming from within inside? Is is the calls it, coming from within inside the house? You know, or it's one of those things. Where I, I think it has something because this this is like my safety net here in a way. Although there is energy here, but then when I go outward into the world there's stuff out there I have no control. I don't, because there, there, if you think about it, even with more people, there's more like yeah. arconic stuff attached energy. to that energy. So I feel like, I'll tell you what it is. I have a pet peeve. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. With customer service, right? Like I remember me and my brother, you know, like El Pollo Loco, sometimes they'll have a, like a frosty freeze where they, you know, ice cream place. Well, one time, like, you could tell the the lady that worked there didn't like enjoy making those, and <laughs> when she did it, she did it like half ass. It was melted on the cone. Same thing with like In and Out Burger. Let's say you order a number one combo, yeah. and they fill up your drink not all the way to the top. You know, it's just little things that are no, it shouldn't matter. But to me, I get rageful. Like like how dare she? How dare she do? You know what I mean? It's so it's ridiculous. I'm telling you, I'm being honest. No, and, and it starts. It starts with that, right? It just starts with something small like that, where I'm like, oh, and and I internalize it, and I personalize it, and I, I take it personal. I go, oh, and this is not true. I know this is not true, but I say to myself, she don't like Asians. Yeah. 
So she ain't giving me a full cup of Coca Cola right now. <laughs> but the, it's ridiculous. And the flip I side, know, I don't no. know why that enters my brain. I'm being honest with you. No, no. The flip side of that is when that happens to me, I'm like, eh, that's about right. Uh, if I and like, I'm like, if I was this. There's so many times where I realize, like, yeah, I deserve that. You know, it's like, I feel like all the demons in my life are going to come back to me, you know? Yeah. And so I'm now, it went through this, like, I discovered Han. And then I was like, how do I get this burning out of so me? So that's right? like this internal rage and Non-stop, anger. Nonstop. It yeah. will never stop. There's these Han videos of like fathers like losing their shit because there's like cameras up in everyone's homes now yeah. in Asia. And like they literally just throw in the table up, you know, and like it, it just from the drop of oh, the Oh, Koreans right? are the worst with that. And so, so like my oh, buddy, yeah. like I was like, dude, we bonded over that. And so I started researching it. And out of that, it's this concept of a Japanese word called mushin. Which what does mean, that mean? It means no mind. Is that a good thing? Like meditational? Like just chilling? So the idea is picture a pond completely still, flat. Not a single ripple in it. And it would reflect the mountains and the surrounding area. It's, I, I, I need that. It's the like way the, you just worked, dude, that just, was beautiful. I mean, the way you just worded that, that's what I need. Yeah. And I so, need stillness. It's the mirror mind. And so imagine yeah. it as flat as a mirror, right? I need that, brother. You know, I need that because I realized, like going back to like that analogy of the worker at uh, In-N-Out Burger, the reality of it, it's, it has nothing, it's not personal. It just, she's really busy. She's trying to do like quadruple of the orders and she just has her hands full. And so the way I responded to her was breathe. That's what I told her, like, and not a hateful way. I could just, you're going to get through it, breathe, breathe. You know what I mean? And she looked at, she kind of took it the wrong way, but I just gave, threw in my two cents, like, you, you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. Because I've done service jobs like that. I've worked in food. Yeah. I've gotten fired because I did the wrong thing. <laughs> my thumb and the pancake and the yolk of the egg, you know, all that. Hell yeah. And so I know where she's coming from. I know exactly how she feels. When you're just swamped and you're like, oh my God, I, you're sweating. Too many orders pile up. But I, go uh, back to what you're saying, that Japanese, the mush. Uh, mu, it means mu. emptiness, yeah. right? The mushin refers to the empty mind in mm -hmm. the sense of no distractions, right? I like right? that you came prepared. Because like, what's funny is I had three other things I wanted to drop on you. But once I started researching mushin, I was just like, fuck it. And I approached all today with mushin where I was like, okay, I got to use the restroom. There's no place to use the restroom in the apocalypse. There was never a place to use the restroom in Hollywood before the apocalypse. Yeah. So like my whole thing is like, well, there's my old way of thinking is like, there's not going to be a parking spot. And then there's going to be a line for the restroom. So instead I just like mooshined out, like, fuck it. There was a parking spot right up front. Mm -hmm. I walked in and then I got a little smile from like a person. I'm like, okay, okay. And so my whole thing is like, fuck it, Ryan, fuck it, dude. Like, Look at where your life has brought you. You're sitting here talking to Steve Lee. Steve Lee <laughs> is your friend. Yeah, I'm your friend. Like, I get to like, I text you like, I love you, brother. Yeah. And you say, I love you back. And like, there is literally a million people in the world that would love to have that. And yeah. I got that. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. And, and, and it's like, before I went on my trip, uh, I mean, he probably doesn't post a lot of pictures of them, but S Sam Tripley's babies are beautiful. Oh, can I give a shout out to shout out to Sam? Uh, I'm still um, I'm still open to having you come back, brother. You know, for a part two. You know. uh, Ryan's be uh, ha is beating you at the moment with a part four. <laughs> <laughs> okay? He's a busy man. But we will, I know, I know he's busy. That's why I haven't bugged him, uh, uh, dude. But his babies are beautiful. So like. It was right before I took off. I was like, dude, I would love to see those little cutie patooties. Yeah. Give a homie a hug. So yeah, like, yeah. And uh, he's a good dude. He, Sam, I mean, his name is Tripoli for a reason. He is a Tripoli. I yeah. mean, like, he is awesome. He's Armenian, Russian Armenian. Yeah. I mean, that's that's too crazy. He ass. grinds it out. Yeah. He, so he's doing it, man. He, like, he's a grinder. I got nothing but love in my heart for Sam. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I told him, I was like, dude. We got to do this episode. You got to do an episode coming up about Nigeria. And I've been telling about Nigeria for like a little bit now. Like What's going since, on there? What's going on? Dude, it's like the most, because of the BLM movement here in America, it's 
police violence is like worldwide, but in Nigeria, it's so corrupt, right? And this wow. is the most amount of violence that's yeah. going on in like three decades. That's crazy. The full on, like everything's in overhaul. Is that well, going on right now? Right the fuck now. And that's why I was like, dude, we should do an episode. What's the date today? The 27th? And ever, I mean, get it. I get it. The people. No, get, the reason why I'm asking is because I was planning on a, a like a, a real war. Because Jordan Maxwell was saying, you know, Afiukis, uh, the month October is Scorpio coupled with planet the planet Mars. And if you flip Mars, the M, it's war, the uh, planet of war. With the Scorpio, it's deadly, poisonous war. That's governing over that house. Trip out. <laughs> so I was, that's why I was kind of, you're asking me, you know, I'm not giving you an excuse, but that was partially the reason why I was just chilling because i expected that to happen he was saying because he had you know and this is through you know the way nostradamus would read the stars it's for it has it's not political this they were looking at the stars you know what i'm saying so i was planning on he was like october november but definitely at the beginning of october mid october beginning of october so i was i right ran i've talked about this i was bracing myself like damn dude I was waiting for some, but then you know what? I tripped out the first week of October. Get what was the news there? Trump has Corona. So I was, I was bracing myself like, oh, okay, this is the beginning of what Jordan Maxwell and his homie, they were, what they were talking about. But thank God nothing has happened yet. Sorry, I thought I'd have to, I didn't mean to no, cut you off, but that's what's been on my mind. You know I what I mean? I think of the Bob Marley song, Everywhere is War. He's like, dude, there's, con in and or the fucking, uh, oh, thrash metal suicidal tendencies more yeah. inside my head I mean more, like yeah yeah so the whole like I was gonna like I got I've recently started trying to get into alchemy understanding like because I've seen it in art for so many years yeah, like, yeah yeah I was an art history major and I was always drawn towards like the hermetic like illustrations on how weird and cryptic so I started like looking into it and I just realized I'm like dude what is What's the point? Let's go back to the mirror. My yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is so easy for people like me and you to become obsessed over things because yeah, it can distract some, us. Yeah, I mean from the internal, right? Yeah, I mean, thank God there's outlets for that. I mean, that's partially the reason why I decided to start a new music project as well because I'm like, well, I'd I'd rather write things out that or like these weird things in my head, put it on paper opposed to laying here all night thinking about stuff I have no control over. And that's the frustrating part. I don't got control over like worldly, you know, cosmic shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't have no place in that. You know, I know we're all here for a reason and God knows what we were in our past lives. Who knows? But I just know that we just got to get through this shit. You know what I mean? There's something... We're in a weird time right now. Imagine a year ago, if I was to tell you everything that is happening right now. If you told me 10 years ago that there's just going to be this crazy virus and you're going to be, you can't go anywhere w without a mask and they're shutting down schools and shopping malls, I would be like, no. That's like a movie. Yeah. We are in the, the movie. <laughs> we are in it. Did you ever know anyone that was homeschooled? Um, no, I've heard of people that I don't know who, who've gotten homeschooled. They, uh, I'm not saying that they're any less educated or intelligent, but there's definitely some weirdness to like homeschool people because they didn't I thought interact. there was benefits. Oh. There's benefits of like you probably get, um, you could potentially get a more education, right? Because nothing's stopping you. But really that interaction that you're supposed to be doing in school because the American school system was designed after the Prussian yeah. school system, which was designed to make good workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so what do we do in a world where there's no more work and there's no more school and there's no more kids interacting, right? My nephew is six years old. He's super, super smart, but I can only imagine how weird he's going to become if he never interacts on a daily, regular basis. You need with that socialization. You need that social aspect for, you know, just personal growth and shit. I mean... I've been obsessed with Elliot Roger again. I don't know why, but dude, that's an example of this cat. He had, he was so privileged and there's a sense of entitlement. He expected women to just walk up to him. Oh my God, I want to date. You know, it's like he was just messed up. And the main reason is what you're talking about. The cat had no 
com- communication skills, didn't make an attempt to even like talk to people who even tried to extend their hand out to him. You know what I mean? And it's it's a sad, sad story. I've been obsessed with this guy. I don't know why I'm still looking this. It's years ago. Was that 2012? Where you know the the Santa Barbara dude. You know yeah. the and then he's the whole incel movement. They look up to this cat like, oh, he's the prophet. You know what I mean? But he was just a kid that was lonely, frustrated, had a sense of entitlement, didn't have communication skills, didn't att- attempt. He thought that that they were just supposed to magically come up to him somehow and he would be dating these blonde girls or something like he thought in his mind he thought I should be the one that's dating you know like this cat would go be at uh, Trader Joe's and he would see like this this jock surfer dude with like two blonde girls in his arms and he would be like crying and going back to his BMW he drove a BMW it's like dude if you even have a little smidget of skill or game you could if you got a BMW, dude. <laughs> dude, so so that is just that's one example yeah. of a person that then it wasn't given self love. Look what happened, right? Yeah. Look what happened. Well, look what he ended up doing. Dude, I'm not gonna give away your location, but I was parked not too far from here, near where the crackheads hang. Okay, I know. I you mean, know we'll talk about. Yeah, I know exactly where that Dude, is. Dude, there was a guy. His pants were all over the <laughs> There's gra- people in the world that will think that I like look, live in this homeless metropolis. <laughs> it is. It's gotten wild. It's getting gnarly. It's gotten crazy in the past six months. Well, I'll tell you this. I'm glad you brought this up. My neighbor right there, the one that lives right there, mm-hmm. where I used to live, the smaller studio, mm-hmm. she, had, she got a cat camera. She had to get her. People been walking back here. Oh, yeah. They aren't supposed to be here. And it's scary. Like, she sends me, like, the footage of these people, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> scary. What are we going to do? Well, no, we're, we came to agreement because the only people back here are me, her, and the dude Adam upstairs. So we're going to make uh, an agreement where after midnight we lock that door right there. Because, dude, they've they've walked back here. Like, just... just you know, and th- like zombies. Do like, you walk around at night out here? No, but dude, just living here, I've experienced so much scary stuff. I remember one time I was playing Destiny. I was playing like four or five in the morning, and then I heard, and I'm like, I thought it was my homie Craig. So I'm like, oh, it's just Craig. You know, he wants we he wants to chat it up. We want he wants to talk. It wasn't. It was some dude. <laughs> Get it was some dude, white dude. Just in his boxer shorts. I think that was the guy. I'm no, I'm, about. no, he had no clothes on, and he was sweating, and he was like, his body posture was like, and I'm like, can I help you, dude? And he's like, oh yeah, uh, uh, can I come in? I, mean, uh, I was waiting for uh, the, the 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 person uh, upstairs, and I go, and I had to think quick on my feet because I, you know, like just street metal street shit. I go, what's his name? I go, what's, what's, if you're waiting for him, what's the guy's name upstairs? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, he was cracked out, dude. And I'm just like, if you don't leave, I'm going to give you five minutes. If you don't leave within five minutes, I'm calling the cops. And then uh, he was like, tr- he, it was so scary. He was trying to look inside. You know, like uh, Poltergeist 2, uh, uh, Reverend Kane, when he tries, he goes for, he, he's outside the house, and he's like trying to walk, through the, you know, he's trying to like see what's in the door, you know? It was like some Reverend Kane shit where he was like trying to look at it, and I kept like closing the door. I'm like, dude, I mean it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. Five minutes, dude, I'm not fucking around. I mean it. And I just closed the door. That's one. I got more. I got more stories like that. Dude, the estimated is 60,000 homeless in in L.A. County. 60,000, dude. Well, like you said, I don't know where you're at right now, but here in this immediate area, it's gotten worse, dude. Like, I don't want to say the street, but I know what street you're talking about. It's rugged over there, dude. Right, it's a parallel street, right? Yeah. And it's on the other side. It's going towards Amoeba, right? The cops just drove right by him and didn't do anything. The guy's pants were complete to the ground, no underwear on. Just awesome flopping dong in the wind. And I was like, the cops just rolled right by, dude. Yeah, I was getting my Velo today. My 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 <laughs> nicotine patch. Skated there. I was going to go there. get Go get some In-N-Out. I seen a dude, no shirt. He was taking a shit, standing up, like just leaning against the wall next to 7-Eleven. And I'm like, 
I had to skip by it. And I'm like, fuck, dude, this is crazy. This dude's taking his shit. So He's we, taking his shit. The only way this is going to be solved is if Elon Musk makes like a shrink ray. And then in the night, they just go around shrinking the homeless and then just sweeping them up into like something. And I don't what 60,000 in 2020 well, the, next the, year. Is this gonna is be- my problem. Like, like, I understand that. Where's the housing, Jack? You know what I'm saying? Where are the taxpayers money? go? I mean, dude, you can't. Well, where is all this money going to? You know, like, you know, LAPD, whatever. They make a grip of money just on parking. T- are you, you can't build housing for these people. But that's not the problem. It's layered because it's not only it's a combination of things. It's either 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 addicted to drugs or mental illness. Yeah. So you need housing and you need places where these people could get medicated and get help. I mean, it's layered, dude. I mean, but do you see why cats are like moving to Texas? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. No, it's rugged out here on the streets, dude. I, I normally never go anywhere without a knife now on me. And I'll yeah, be like, I'll, expl- I'll explain to the cops if it's over three inches, you know, because it's, it's supposed not be. Yeah, let's go back to the positive. I want yeah, you to yeah. let's go back to the positive. Uh, so this thing, this your episodes just because we, we get we have so because I haven't even gone through my notes yet. I got a, I got a bunch of notes too, but I want you to um I wanna I wanna you to cover this entirely. Okay, so everything you've written down. All right, Mushin. All right. So the concept of Mushin is identical to the Japanese metaphorical expression Mizu no Koroku, which is mind like water. Mm. All right. The mental attitude refers to a mind that is totally in harmony with the cosmos, that it resembles a still pond without any ripples. I mean, I can get to that state of mind. Uh, I listen to this like a real the recordings from like the rainforest and it's like this this peruvian like rainforest i could dig it for like 12 minutes i'll put it on it's like I, asmr yeah i just lay down and i just breathe in the good and put mm-hmm. out the negative right and then dude i shit you not i lay in dead man's pose right it i uh i mean i got to this seat steve by being a lunatic by being a maniac your vibe attracts your tribe right Think I was kind of, I've thought about that with our relationship. Do you think that the reason why we're like kin, kin <laughs> and we get along so well is because we both have that, what you just said, we both have that. We've stared into the abyss long yeah, enough that, and it's that, gotten that, inside. That, we've, that red zone in it. We both have that. Yeah, definitely. Put it this way. I never want to see you full red. I would, that would scare me. <laughs> Because I know, because yeah. I, because I've seen, seen it, because I've seen you, it. I've seen you outside of the, out of this place. I've seen you, and sometimes I'll stare at you into your eyes, and there's something. I've never said this to you, but there's something like. I think I'm telling like you don't want to ever fuck with Ryan like that. Because <laughs> I told you I don't want to bring up the yeah. past, yeah. but I've told you in the past where I told you something I'm going through, and you wanted to like vouch for me and like. Stand up for me, yeah. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. <laughs> that's that's that hyper vigilance inside yeah, of me. Like, it's yeah. uh, I mean, I never, I never got bullied when I was a kid, but I also never got punched in the mouth. So I have run my fucking mouth my whole life, and didn't get punched in it yet. And so like, I'm waiting for God to punch me in my mouth, you know? Right. And sure enough, you know, like, believe me, dude, I'm a, I'm a guy that can be super vulnerable and open instantly right. with people, women, men, doesn't matter. Right? Yeah. But it, inside of me, dude, is that Han that I'm talking about. And the only way I know how to stop this Han is to go deeper into the Mushin mind. Right. I got the Han too, bro. So it's like, I know I got the Han in me. So I do. So I, I know that uh, technically there aren't any gyms open, but I do know that there might be uh, ways for us to roll 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, it's weird because my homie Mestizo, he, he started entering tournaments. He got third. Damn. Yeah. He's, like he's, and he's in uh, 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 Philly, Philadelphia. And, and he's got kids. And if he's doing it, why can't we like start? Tra- yeah. Let's do it. So besides just rolling, bro, I we got to go on the 37th parallel tour. 
Yeah, I, I mentioned it last time. Yeah, I right? know we got to do it. And that's what I put out that uh, my, the homie Ed Gentle. He put up that uh, artwork for us, dude. That was dope. Can Especially we give him a shout out? Big time, dude. And if we do, shout out to Gen- uh, Ed Gentle. Ed Gentle on Instagram. Check him out, man. Mm-hmm. He's a he's award winning fucking. He's the man. I love Ed. He's my little homie. He's my secret weapon. It remind me like some like. Like Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragon characters. I put a lot of time and effort into yeah, it. And oh, so yeah, yeah. I like, like the I like I had a Jedi. I felt like you know, oh, that's like that Jedi robe. He gave. And, me I mean, if Jedi you're into robe. it, we could like sell the shirts and the hats yeah. to then I bankroll our 37th parallel tour. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, we look like wizards. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and look, at, uh, it's not gonna be. It, we're gonna have fun, right? But yeah. I guarantee you, we're gonna get spooked because like where we're we're planning going, it we gotta is. bring some of this then, man, because. You know, I, I, I kind of want some of this, the sage and this. All right, so check this yeah. out, real quick. So alchemy, yeah. we all hear the words, right? Yeah. Why don't you just define it? Like, just give a basic definition of what. Uh, yeah. It's so, mis- mixing certain. So elements. when people think of the elements, they think of yeah. the periodic table. Yeah. Well, back in the day, the the elements that what they really meant was earth, water air or mm-hmm. wind and mm-hmm. fire right mm-hmm. and then the way you could think about it is right here palo santo mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so this came from the earth mm-hmm. and when you heat it up yeah you then it excretes oils which is the water aspect of it oh damn then enough vibrations that's when the heat is coming off it as you get hot air and then finally fire yeah and so this is representative of the soul because Remember in the fifth element? Oh, it's talking about the four elements. Earth, yeah, yeah. water, wind, and fire. Yeah. But the fifth element is the soul or love, right? So and this basically feeds our soul. Like when we do so, this So when you burn ritual, this thing, it, it then cleanses the area. But it's all about belief. You know, if you put belief that this is going to cleanse this room and get all the weird hags out of your dreams, it will. You know what I mean? It's power of belief. Yeah. I, dude, like me and you, we live in this city that is made on illusion. LA has no water table. Hollywood. It's exactly. All the Holly tree. And the Holly tree is where Judas hung himself. That's crazy, dude. And so that. So you just brought another layer, but Hollywood, mm-hmm. Holly tree, That's magic they, wands. They make wands out of Putting it. spells on you, all that. With this play, whole, the whole idea of in the Hindu religion, Maya, it means magic. Yeah. And so what we're here, we, we did, this is all an illusion. LA shouldn't be here. None of us can support. There shouldn't be 30 million people with no water. It's a desert. Those palm trees. There shouldn't be people shitting on the side of 7-Eleven. That shouldn't happen. He should have a toilet to go to where he can wash his hands and wipe his ass and, and, and get a meal. You know, there's, there should be no reason for this. You know what I mean? Get in an airplane. I know it sounds crazy. And fly in the daytime and look from LA to New York. Look at all that empty space. Dude, fucking... God, I don't know if I'd rather be in New York. I wouldn't want to be in either now. No. Not New York, because I, I, I could talk two hours just on New York. But uh, nothing against New York, but I'm talking about because of the uh, Roman Empire. And, exactly. And the Vatican. <laughs> and all that shit, like the mafia shit. Well, dude. <laughs> yeah. Me and you. We start from Santa Cruz. Yeah. That's the west side point of the 37th parallel. Did they film Lost Boys there? there the bridge is there, too. Oh, that was a damn and good we can movie. do the whole damn reenactment. Movie. You seen Lost Boys? Oh, yeah. Damn good <laughs> movie. So it goes through 13 states. You said from west from, to east. From west to east. And it's going 37th parallel. It's the most paranormal highway, most amount of abductions, most amount of not necessarily missing persons, but there is a big little hot zones. Of missing four one one, if you will, right? Yeah, a lot of paranormal. <laughs> I was just gonna say, <laughs> what if we get abducted, man? I mean, if just... we get, if we got abducted, right? If a U if a UFO just said, all right, these two, they they're sufficient enough, and they give us a choice, they said, you know, we've been watching you two, and uh, we like what we see, <laughs> but we don't know yet whether it's you know, benevolent or non-benevolent. We don't know yet, but they're like, put it this way. You could either join us and you're going to live, you could live longer, quadruple the amount you would as a human. We just got to inject you with something. We got to like kind of fuse our genetics with yours just to extend, but you're going to have to leave your life on earth 
and join us. You're going to have to fly through space with us. Would you come back here? Hell yeah, dude. I would you, let them inject me instantly. No, so you would not come back here. You would. We would be off. I'm out, dude. We would be lions. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Grab if it a was towel, the lions, let's right? roll. Because I, I wrote a rap about the road about the lions. They're the feline alien race. Okay, okay, yeah. The lions, the yeah. lions. I would do it if it was them. If it was the lions, because I'm like, okay, I like what they're about. If it was like reptilians, obviously no. But if the reptilian, if the reptilian said, "We will spare your life. We could eat you up right now. I could just, we just crush your arm right now, and we're gonna, we harvest your meat." And you have a choice. You could join us, or we'll spare your life. But you're gonna have to be like the little gray. You know how the grays are their little worker bees. Yeah. You could, but you will extend your life. We won't kill you. Would you come back here, or would you? I take off. I'm. I'm dude, you would take off with the reptilians, dude. I'm down for. I'm down for adventure. <laughs> I'm down <laughs> for an kind adventure, of adventure, bro. Yeah, like let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Do you fantasize about that being abducted? Because, because the way you're describing this trip, because you like adventure, I like adventure too. But there's a certain potential of danger. It's like Hunter S. Thompson said, said. You just told me, Steve. We might be scared or what'd you say? You said something. You're like, well, I definitely know. Like I, it will be switching back and forth. Which one of us is Scooby and which one of us is Shaggy oh, from day Scooby to day. All, I'm like, Scooby all day. Every day I'll be Scooby. We might be Scooby. Do we do? <laughs> we might be Scooby. And what was the little yeah. dude? Fucking, uh, was there a scrappy, dude. scrappy, scrappy, scrappy and yeah. Scooby, dude. So let's do it. And then as we get close to like some major city, right? Because this is the best part for you. It's also... What cities are we going to pass through? We're going to be is going Montana through... Montana in there? Or? No, that's way oh, up that's there. Up, that's up north, sorry. Kansas? So if we go through 13 states, I don't right? know where that is. I don't know. We stop. And we let people know through Instagram, hey, uh, we're going to be having some lunch at this barbecue spot. Then we can just meet up, meet and greet with rando weirdos that are down and for we it. we do Airbnb maybe? Or? And camp a lot, dude. I mean, camp. Okay, so we, so we would survive we, just by camping. We should camp. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a, so we can shower, you know. We'll do can we Airbnb. bring Ren so he could be our camera guy? We can do that, dude, if you're down. Oh. You'll be compensated. We just have to. Do you have a tent or do you have a sleeping bag? I could get some. Okay, we got, okay, cause we need a camera guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, after we put this out, we get some hype back. You'll see the comment section. People want this, man. They want it. Yeah. So would this be kind of like a documentary? Like, what would this? Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's do it as like a special project, right? Let's film it all, and then I don't know when. When it's all said and done, maybe the second season would be on something bigger like Vice. Vice you Land? You're telling you're, me we wouldn't be on Vice Land? You're telling so, me the two so of us? So Vice, if you happen to watch the Stevie Weeby show, you know, we're, we're avid fans of your content. Shout out um, Action Bronson. Um, yeah, shout out Action Bronson. Um, we would like, yeah, we would like to have some Vice love. You know what I mean? You know what? You like Tom Green? Oh, yeah. I've been watching. I, I've been like, I discovered him again. And you know what he did? It's similar to what you're talking about. This cat, he's OG, by the way. Before people were even podcasting, he was doing this like back in the day. Like he he had his own shit. He had all this shit going on, but he just decided. Didn't he marry Drew Barrymore once? In their house. Okay, okay, down. their house. Okay. But anyway, this is now him now single, still kind of dabbling in comedy. He's like, well, I'm because he had a house in Malibu, right? I just was watching his content. He just said similar to what you're saying. He's like, well, I'm just hitting the road. And so his his content now is him just with him and his dog like in a RV or something and he's just traveling across America dude like wherever he ends up type deal. That's badass. Isn't that badass? So shout out to Tom. I'm a fan of I love Tom Green. Dude, I love that shit. Let's let's do this shit because yeah. I guarantee How would we survive though like monetarily like how would we even I say we sell the shirts and the merch right now. Let's get that shit out there. Yeah, let's get I, cause let's that's get the all more about going. like okay I'm in for the adventure, but how would we survive? Like, how would we shower? How would we eat? Would as we long as we can jump into a fresh water source every three days, or at least take a shower every three days, because that's right when you start getting funky. Like, yeah, I don't want to get too say, swampy down there. Yeah. You know, I'm already I get funked out. This reminds already. me, dude. Hey, one time you mentioned that you had a. Uh, do you still have scrotal eczema? You still have like? <laughs> do, do you still got that flaky ball sack? Because, dude, like, 
I happened to, I, I, I had a little. Why'd you have to do it to me, man? <laughs> do you still got that? Why'd you have to do it? <laughs> you didn't have to bring it up. Because, like, I got, like, a version I, of that. I'm just letting you know. Hold up. Sack. I'm glad you did bring it up. Yeah. I've had it a lot worse, but I'm talking about Steve today. Stevie Weeby today does a daily maintenance. Ooh. I never used to take hot showers. My ex, ex my ex girl, uh, back, back, my ex girlfriend. I told you the story. Of she uh, part, partly the reason she broke up with me is because it would be frosted flakes in her sheets. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it would be. And, and I think the the dude she did start dating, like Crank called me and called me, fr- and he said, "What's up, Frosty?" <laughs> He like was uh, he was he, well no because I guess she may, this is just my I don't have evidence but it, that only makes sense like yeah. why would he call me that <laughs> it was like this oh no no unknown number I knew she was dating some new dude she was already kind of planting the seed with him but what go today Stephen Stevie today <laughs> it's manageable it is it it's not flaking on the sheets I do it daily. Regiment. So is this eczema? It's like what is it? It's just dry skin, man. It gets huh. dry skin on my nuts. Hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain it. See, I was getting so stressed out a couple months ago. Uh, and other people have reached out to me, by the way, on Instagram, saying saying thanks for you know talking about that. Yeah. I suffer. I you know what I mean. They like, oh, I deal with that too. So I'm I like, think oh, more I'm dudes have guy. eczema and psoriasis you know than you what I'm know. Ex- explain, uh, go ahead, the clinical be, term. What, what does that mean? So psoriasis is from stress related. Your body literally physically is pushing out the toxins and like it, you're getting so mentally stressed that your body it's as above, so below. Literally alchemy <laughs> is happening. And with me, dude, that was happening. I was like stressing out hard. Yeah. And I was like inst- I was looking down at my like sack and like, what the fuck's oh and then I heard well, you, you had, but, I heard I heard well, you, you in my you, head. You de- you dealt with that too? I had like this whole like bat like that. It was just it wasn't fun. It was it skin? Was it skin? Yeah, it was skin and it was like it was psoriasis. But was it on your though. was it on your nuts? It was getting close there, and then I was thinking, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, no, I, I got some you, steroid treatment, yeah. hooked up with that. Yeah, I mean, I did, Um, it was a lot worse back in, like, late 90s, early, t- like, to the point where, like, I was working at IHOP, because it used to itch, like, jock itch. And I would be, like, trying to do my job, but, like, itching my nuts in front of customers. <laughs> and so my manager had to pull me aside and go, um, Stephen? Uh, I noticed that you have a, a bit of a problem down there. You know, she gave me the managerial talk. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, so like, yeah, I, I've, 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 I've gotten, I've come far. Yeah. Like as far as like, okay, I'm not there, you know. Um, I just do it daily, you know, as long as I'm showering every day with hot water and I'm, 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 I'm why not hot water, dude? What's up? You just, liked- I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I don't know. For me, I didn't like it scorching hot or even hot. I liked it kind of like lukewarmish. I don't know why, because uh, it's, it was refreshing or something. I don't, but, <laughs> but now it's, it's, I, you know, I'm not afraid to, to use the hot water. That's why it's there. You know what I mean? But I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I'm not ashamed. I've, I've talked about this so many times, you know. Yeah, I um, do care about this, dude. It, like, it's a part of life, you know. It's like I'm sure that females have a bunch of embarrassing stuff to, going down down there, hygiene wise, that they never talk about. But I think that's why we're better. I mean, like we we never really talk about that. I like mean, yeast infections. Come on, man. Oh yeah. That must be kind of hard to deal with, as you know what I mean. No, thank you. Yeah. No, no thank no, you. No, thank you. No, thank you. One time I got a yeast infection. On your nuts? It was back when I was still drinking. Mm-hmm. And I drank, uh, this guy was cleaning out the keg and all the stuff that was on the mat of the keg. Uh, I was like, oh, what would you give me if I drank that? And he was like, you can drink here for free. And so then I just took this the, the mat and just drank all this f- foam and ooze and gross gel and then I was like, score, right? And I drank for free that day. But then the next day I peed and literally like like, be, like foam shit came out. And I was just like, oh. oh my. You, and I went to Planned Parenthood toxins? in Idaho. And I'm like, damn. I'm Did fuck. it burn? Did it burn? It, no, it didn't burn. But it was like, this isn't normal. And so then I went and told them. And they're like, yeah, you probably literally drank yeast. And now your body is pushing the yeast out of you. 
So men could men could get yeast infections. If you're please. a fucking disgusting drunk that drinks the bottom of a keg oh mat. Oh my god! So. I'm so glad you're not there anymore. No, you learn from that. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah, let's continue, man. Dude, time is flying by. <laughs> time. You know what? I'm gonna save mine for because I want. We'll What's do that? it for a part five. It's too. I don't want. This might get me demo, demonetized. <laughs> Well, good. I'll, I'll save I, on to something, this. too. Yeah, so I don't want to, you know, I thought I could talk about it. Um, wait for it. For It's going to be my music on, on the, the first verse of Harry Monroe says what? Tight. <laughs> okay. So just listen to my music and you'll get the message there. Because this is the type, because this is, I don't want to expose stuff that, keep it, keep yeah, it, I don't want. Yeah, right? yeah, I just keep it kind of on the hush. Yeah, oh, shit, so I'm glad. So I'll turn this over. I wrote, I wrote all this, you know. Yeah, but you did some I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you, you did, did that. homework before. Yeah, because you know, with you, I'm like, you know, because we've always have had that rapport. Like, oh, I know he's gonna bring some heat. I'm gonna, I, I should write some stuff. I mean, that's an honor to you. That's respect for you because it's like, if I didn't care, I'd be like, yeah, we're just gonna talk about whatever. But I'm like, okay. If Ryan's coming back on here, I want to, I want to, I want to go in, you know. Dude, even if but these this, mics were on, this might not be the best right now because you know of the just the way the state of the world is. I don't want <laughs> FBI agents knocking on my door. Or so where are you gonna be for? Uh, what are you gonna do during the election? Are you gonna, still, uh, you gonna be right gonna, here? I'm just gonna be chilling. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Um, You're not gonna leave town. Yeah, I don't. I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore the circus. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna, All I'm right. not gonna feed into that. You know, I'm taking Cause I, off because I know what's going on beyond, beyond, behind that. You know. Well, dude, the, the Dodgers yeah. just won right now. Yeah, shout out to the L.A. Dodgers. We are in Los Angeles right now. And the only reason World I know Series that World Series champions. You said you heard some gunfire, <laughs> just <laughs> nonstop. Was, da, 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 da. I was like, what are we? But you know, hey man, L.A. You know. People represent out here, you what know. What goes up must come down. Yeah, I mean, have you even been near? I sh I filmed, you know, my um goodbye balloon video about my dad. I filmed part of it over in that area. Echo Park, dude. Real deal. Actually. That's not there. There is some gang. <laughs> there is some uh -huh. East LA gang graffiti out there. There is some characters. The LA. That means, I don't know. It was uh, me and Craig were driving up this hill. Were you in yeah, Avenidas? Did it was it near Avenida? a park near there too. Yeah, dude. You're and right so here. that was like I knew right away because I'm not. Were they just, doing? Hoo -hoo! No, no. I was looking <laughs> at the tags. You know, I said I saw like Echo Park. I'm like, okay, that's a gang. And then I tried to use. Uh, I was gonna go to the restrooms, and I saw some sketchy stuff there. I'm like, oh no, I just I won't go in there. I'm gonna go over here. And then up uh, uh, this location, we needed to get the shot where I let go of a balloon. Two kind of like cholo dudes were like just drinking their forty and not. And I didn't. I I'm street savvy enough not to be like, can you guys move? We're trying to get a shot. <laughs> so I go, I just hollered at Craig. I go, oh Craig, we just we gotta wait it out. But dude, lo and behold, these dudes were like, they they did the opposite. They go, hey, let the homie let the homie film. <laughs> and I go, oh, like that was like respect, you know? He's like, let let the homie let the, let the chino film, man. Let the, you know? And I'm like, I go, Craig, I go, Craig, they're let just wait, like. Two more minutes. Just let them finish their beer. Damn, dude. And so, but, but that area, like going back to the Dodgers, there's like a, you know, there's a eclectic. Those are veteranos out there. Yeah, dude. there's like, you know, all kinds of different fans that. See, this is why. They might be in gangs or something. I, mean, I don't know. It's hard for me not to always be conspiratorial, but let's say uh, the one city that has been known for burning their city down. Now they get to be a little chill because the Lakers won. And the Dodgers won. And the Dodgers won. won. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you getting at? Where are you getting Imagine at? if they lost. Imagine how much more anger they're going to be leading up into. How do you make these people more peaceful into the election? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So are you saying that maybe it's fixed? So let's say uh, Dude, when 9 11 at, happened. To this guy. When 9 11 happened, I think the Patriots won. When oh, Katrina happened, the God. Saints won. Really? I don't even, I don't remember. When, when Boston got bombed, I think Boston, the, the, it's always whenever it's, you got to uh, first have an event and then fucking put a little aloe on it, you know? Oh, so, so it's like, the, those championships are, that's our aloe. 
They want us to chill the fuck out is what they want us to do. Because we don't want another riots. You know what happens? You know what happens when it goes the other way. Well, dude, the like I said, King shit. Bop, 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 for winning. No, now, that's like we're gonna throw Molotov cocktails with AK forty sevens and we're gonna we're looting. You and, know what uh, I mean? You heard that so, all LAPD, they're not allowed to take any days off leading up to the election or after the election. All active duty officers are on board. Uh, like cops, oh my God. there's four cops in each cop car that I was driving by today. Four cops, bro. You know, I get scared when I see not just one chopper, but four of those choppers. Have just, you been seeing the drone? I mean, I hear, I hear, you know, I hear it at night and I'm like, damn, <laughs> this is going to make it seem like I'm in a real bad. <laughs> okay. It's not where I live is not that bad. It's getting, it's not that bad. Is it? I mean, uh, LA is I a trip. I skate around. I still skate around. Yeah. yeah. You're not south of the 10, dog. No, Don't worry no, about no, that. That's different. Yeah, no, that's a whole... So this is, this is Disneyland compared to that. This is um, We're good here. Dude, we're damn yeah. good. Well, that was past an hour. And I didn't even... You, did we... Uh, did you finish? I want you to really feel a co- sense of completion. Because you have stuff written here, too. Can you just finish reading a couple of these, these positive things you wrote down off? So, the mirror mind. Yeah. Mushin cannot be grasped by intellect alone. It must be experienced. Okay. All right. A motion mind has no ego, no substance. It's pure enlightenment. And okay, okay, okay. So like the Buddha that we know as the Buddha, there's yeah. two types of Buddhas. The one that we know is called the Bodhisattva, which means uh, okay. the person that is withholding enlightenment, nirvana, until all other beings in existence are able to get to it. Then there's the one that's a prop. That's selfless, dude. That being that's that's wow, that boat. That's really? that like I. It's like imagine you could step through the door and just turn into. Or like climbing the mountain. Yeah, and you're like they I'll they wait. see the top. They're like no. I'll wait We're right waiting here. for these I'm cats to catch some, up. That's uh, that's selfless. So then the second one is a pravisata. It means What's a private. Difference? It means you literally it's the type that goes into a cave alone, meditates and just melts into the back of their mind into like. Because there's been actual, in India and in China, there's, in caves, they've found, like, people, monks, that have, they sat in lotus position, and their fingernails had fused to the palms of their hand, because they were sitting there so long. And they literally, like, meditated themselves out of existence. So the person, that, there is no wrong way to get an enlightenment, right? Wait, but are you serious? That yeah. They, they just, did it so much, they They've discovered these body? skeletons that are stalactites that have become calcified and part of the rock. What? Yeah. And this is in... That's like next level Jedi shit, dude. And it's in... It's funny because... That's like Yoda shit. I mean, that's where, the, that's where the whole concept of... Well, that whole idea of Star Wars is... The Force? The, is like, you know, it's getting back to the idea the of... Enlightenment, yeah. maybe, for the Force... Within your blood, you know, Ooh, energy. Yeah. So All that's right. it, man. Yeah. I mean, but this state of mind takes years of practice to achieve, perhaps lifetimes. So here we are, man. So lifetimes, so several lifetimes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> to, to get there. Right. Have you thought about, I mean, just out of my own curious, curiosity, have you thought about just like leaving the United States and just like going to India or just some random place and just giving up all world, worldly possessions. I, there is, I could see you doing something like when I watch Dr. Strange, I'm like, I want to be Dr. Strange so bad. I want to just to go to Kathmandu, knock on a door, find an ancient master. That was that a dope will, movie, by the way. That's I, all I, enjoyed, I want. I enjoyed that movie. I want to rock that yeah, gear that, and just, just walk around with the, with the collar. Boom. Just yeah. Like, so, I, I really do want to go to India, man. I fucking love the Hindu religion. I like the metaphors it has, but I do know that I'm such a sensitive mm-hmm. that if this hurts me to see these type of poor, broken souls, India is like, Kathmandu is a city of millions of like very, very, very poor people. Oh, so I had, I, my homie, uh, my homie Jesse moved out there. He was out there for years filming a documentary about street dogs. Damn. Because out there is like these dogs it's like gang shit it's like there one dog will control this block another dog will control you know what i'm saying so he, it, yeah the movie was called pariah i think i don't know if he released it yet but <laughs> you would really dig my my buddy jesse like he actually went out there and the way he was shooting he's a white guy you know but he like they the way they reacted to him is like on some apocalypse now type shit, you know marlon brando like they were like just wanted to like touch his skin type shit. like you know like he was they looked at them differently. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm. In, I get inspired by that stuff, man. I yeah. I can't watch. Uh, 
nature shows and documentaries without like wondering what it must be like to go out there, you know? So yeah. I'm if hoping we, if, if we do this th- uh, parallel thing and it's a success, we got to do one on Hawaii. Let's do it. Cause there's some scary ghost stories there. I've never been like there. Like the night marcher, all that, you know, Dude, like I've, there's some, sc- you've heard about like yeah. Hawaiian, there's some scary Hawaiian ghost stories, like for real. So then we'll do a whole Hawaiian version. Yeah, where uh, we, we go to the burial ground. Island hopping? Ground. Yeah, we do the burial ground. <laughs> Let's do it, <laughs> man. Do the whole thing. I'm down, dude. So, Vice, if you're out there, we could use um, we could use a budget. Um, yeah, that's all. Look at we got um, it. The Stevie Weeby Show YouTube channel is close to approaching 100,000 subscribers. Um, when that's, if we get there or when we get there, Vice, please take a look at the content. Let to let you know we do have the platform to to, to cater um, your type of content. Yeah, dude. Um, we're easygoing guys. We're weirdos. We're you guys weirdos, like weirdos we're, right? But we're sober. We're not gonna. Uh, we're not. I, nothing against Hamilton, <laughs> but we're not gonna be on like mushrooms. We're Did, gonna be clear headed. If that guy lives to be like 120, that I would not dude's be surprised. a trip. By the, I trip out on that guy. How is he alive? I don't know, but that dude is a trip. His voice was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. he's a good dude. Hey, but I know we're closing up here, but yeah. um, I I do have one offer code. Could I insert this? Yeah, dude. Do All it. Right. Say whatever you need to Check say. Check it out. Go to saucylukes.com. You get award-winning barbecue sauce right. and rubs All right. on checkout. Shout out to Saucy Luke. Use and Ryan. Saucy, this is, I normally tax people for this. Yep. So send oh. me another uh, bottle of your barbecue. He's um, going to be a sponsor in the yeah. tour. He's going to, SaucyLukes.com is going to sponsor the 37 Parallel Tour. Provide some meats, tour. too. Oh, you know this. <laughs> some bison, maybe. But use Ryan some at checkout to something. save 20% right, off. Shout out, shout out your um, Insta and yeah. Uh, All right. On Instagram. Oh, at, at here non-toot. we go. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? There you go. Go on Instagram at non toot. That's N O N T U T E. I'm not a prostitute. And if you want to call and leave a voicemail, then go ahead. The phone number is 323 263 0663. 285 0663. Sorry. Whatever. You get it. And is it an answering service? It's a Google voicemail. It's a Google, and they could just leave yeah. you whatever? Talk to me. Um, Maybe I'll call back. Maybe I'll okay, pick up. Okay, so since you just kind of disclosed that, for our trip, if you're, let's let's kind of like map out the, the states. Yeah. If you happen to be where we're going to be headed, we could use a place to rest our heads. Yep. You got a possibly backyard. Possibly use a shower uh, so we could soap up. There you go. And shampoo. And um, call this. This is good. This is good yeah. promotion. Call it. 323-285-0663. What are the states off top that we're going to be We're going to be going from Santa Cruz into Nevada, into Utah. Utah, Nevada, Santa Cruz. New Mexico. New Mexico. Texas. Texas. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Carolinas. Which one? Southern. Southern Carolina. Yeah. South Carolina. So about 13 states. I met, totally missed a couple there, but hey, we're going to keep you updated. But the ones he just named off, we could use a hot shower. Yeah. If you're not going to. And gonna... possibly a place to stay if if you dig our, the content. There you go. Big and, time. And um, please call this. Give us your information. 323-285-0663. Your housing situation uh, and a little bit of uh, a message of who you are, how you found the show, and um, your thoughts. And if you're a Hills Have Eyes people, just mm-hmm. don't call. Yeah, if it's on some deliverance shit, no thank you. Yeah, no way. We won't squeal. Dude, I love you, man. That was great. That was great. All right, so I didn't get into my... Oh, I will save that for part five. Yeah, I'm glad... You know what? I'm glad I didn't say all that stuff, you know? Just listen to the music. I'm halfway done with the album. Off the Grid Rhyme, part four... We do have a Patreon attached to the show. If you want to help support this particular content, become a patron today. Patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. The newest patrons are Amanda C., Omar Delgadillo. Um, like I said, I'm six songs into my concept album. I think I'm going to name it I Feel Stir Crazy based upon Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder's movie back in the day, Stir Crazy. I'm trying, I'm using samples, but then I'm, thinking of concepts 
of, of songs that I get out of the, the samples. Um, we do have a website, uh, StevieWeebyShow.com, if you want to get um, like a Little Ray's World hoodie right here. Um, just know shipping might be delayed because of the quarantine. Uh, my Instagram's Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. My band camp's StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. There's no Little Ray's World until the album is finished, um, but Lil Ray is going to be making an appearance on a song called Oh Rodeo Man. And he's saying that his verse was better than mine. Okay. And he's 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 keeps leaving me messages saying that I'm no good, that he he should be you taking over the now? podcast. I don't know. But I'm going to give you credit, Raymond, on the song. I don't want to be in competition with you because you're my friend. You know, I dig the puppet show. <laughs> so um, if you want to send any of your packages, send your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391. L.A. California 90093. Did we make an hour? Yep. Dude, I love you, man. That was amazing. Thanks, man. Oh, let me do this.